Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it's Scrappy Saturday. Woohoo! So, um, I am in need of some of my double collage cards for my new VIP patrons. So, I am going to work on a couple here. Uh, so, that's what we're going to do with scraps. And I have to show you, I went through my scraps and, oh my gosh, um, I went through my piles and found more scraps. So, I... I need to use some up. So let us say hi and hugs to Gladys, Mary Lou, Miyuki, Joanne for Grace Not Perfection. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your kind comments. You all are just the best. So we're gonna have a relaxed little scrappy Saturday and we're just gonna we're just gonna collage. But um with these Daphne's diary pages, I, I like to collage all on one and then cut it in half. And that's just the right size for a double journal card, you know, folded over. So, start with a piece here. And I love the, love the texture of this paper and love the weight. It's, it's sturdy, but not too heavy. So it doesn't make things, you know super duper duper thick so anyways that's that's what i have to say about that let's show you my scraps that i gave. oh boy i um i went through all the piles of oh my gosh all the piles of digitals that i had sitting and look what look what i came up with i mean i had not these these were already there but so many other digitals that um, are just partials, you know, they're scraps basically. So anyway, I just need to need to get to work on some collaging. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of take off the top here a little hunk of paper. Oh, I had a lot of my um a lot of my feed sack but that makes it nice for these cards because these do are going to my patrons um so there you go i've got an idea already i'm just gonna pop this off of there and let's see i'm gonna need those to the side I think I'm going to put that down the middle because I always try and not have like an edge at the middle because if you do, then it's wanting to pop up all the time, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, if you're wanting to support what I do here on YouTube and all, you can go to my Patreon. It's um, easy to get to from my website. Uh, my website is gailagustinelli.com and um, the uh, there's a button right there that says become a patron. There's also a little video that kind of explains what Patreon is and, um, and that sort of stuff too. Oh, this is such a pretty scrap. Look at that scrap. Now I'll probably do the corners because, you know, I just kind of have a system. Oh, so a little relaxing collage. Doesn't that sound lovely? Sounds lovely to me. The um, the weather here is hot, hot, hot. So you know, I've I've told you I've been I've been very busy doing um, doing a little bit of coffee dyeing and such. But you know, I mean, it's just so hot. It's like seems like a really good time to do it I, think I might put that like kind of down in the middle um this this one's a little different in that there kind of is a direction that I want to go oopsie that's getting sticky um there is a direction that I want to go because I will you know these will be the fronts and I'll fold them over looking like I need a new glue page isn't it I have to put something over that this is real old book and so it's pretty pretty 
Lindsay, you know what I might do? If I might grab a different one. This one is Reader's Digest, so it's a little bit, a little bit less old. Um, yeah, so anyway, from my website, actually, I should say, because my son does such a great job on it, um, you, of course, can get to my favorite things, which is um, my Amazon affiliate. And so as you purchased not just craft supplies, but anything through there, um, I get a little penny or two. And so that's another way to, um, to support me. there um and uh anyway so there's that you can get to my etsy store from my website you can get to the patreon and um my website has every day's video pops up right there and so you can watch it from my website if you want to and then there's a the little um patreon explanation i should probably look at that i did it so long ago <laughs> Might be really, really silly or really dorky. We don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a great scrap. I might use that on the next one. Um. Yeah. So anyway, you can get you can get to all my stuff from there. I I love this too. I I don't think I want the birds. I might use them for decorating or something. But I really like this bit right here. Yeah, so anyway, he's he's so kind to help me out with that and you know, I mean maybe I'll go there. Because, you know, he's busy with his own job and his raising his kids and you know the stuff you do when you're that age. Let's see, I need a little piece to go right here, which that would be good. Let's just do that so yeah so I will do the other side for journaling and then um, decorate these and sew around them and autograph them and they will go off to to those sweet folks that, that take such good care of me I'm just gonna put that there Okay, so now I just have these bots. There's this. I'm going to put that there. Use up some uh, scraps so I can make some more, right? <laughs> have to get a new page already. I have a fuzzy stuck to my thumb. So gluey. This is my it's my third video today. So I am really sticky because um I'm getting ready for the you know for the fourth weekend which it is already when you watch this so I've been just just a film and fool is what I've been. Okay, doesn't want to fit there like I want it to. How about do we have we've got this perfect feed sack to the rescue right <laughs> I read a comment this morning um, this gal 
fell asleep to my video, which happens a lot, I understand. But I get it. I fall asleep to videos too because, you know, we watch them at the end of the day when we're tired. But, um, a little too skinny. Anyway, she, she said she woke up to knocking and she, she thought it was knocking on her door and she said, it was me with my glue stick. <laughs> she thought it was knocking on her door. Oh. Hilarious. Okay, we're just about there. Just a little skosh there. Ooh, look at this pretty one. I'm going to go straight across there, I think. Yep, I think that'll be below my, my mark. So... So, yeah, she said she almost woke up her husband. There's someone at the door. Oh, funny. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to go ahead and do the back because um, otherwise it's going to want to curl on us, you know. Let's see, and I know I had a bunch of scraps in here, too. So let's just... I'm not worried about having a ton of variety on the back, so we can quickly, quickly cover the back. I'm I'm super excited to get these in the get these in the mail. It may not be till after the Fourth of July weekend because my son and family are coming. And then they're gonna leave his son. His son is staying here because he has a science camp out at our our lake. We have um, I don't know what it's called, Science Institute or something, and I guess they just do fabulous camps for kids, and um, and it's it's quite. It's quite exciting for kids to get the opportunity to do it. I think it's kind of limited in terms of how many kids it can take. And so it's a little bit harder to get in or something. Let's see. Go like that. Um, so he was lucky to get in. And so he'll be there for a couple of days, a couple more days after the 4th. And then we go get him and we'll meet them halfway and do the transfer. <laughs> it's what we do with grandkids and dogs. <laughs> we go halfway and do the transfer in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, okay. So now, do we have any longer strips? What's this? I mean, I guess we, I'm just going to go for it. No sense humming and hawing, right? Get her done. I'm so excited. This sounds so dumb, you guys. I'm like Mrs. Kravitz on Bewitched. I'm always, always seeing what the neighbors are up to. But our little neighbors that are... Up above us, they have two little girls, and they're, oh my gosh, they're darling. And, um, but the one is, she's probably, she's over three, I think. And the other little ones, I don't know, one or something, um, not very old. But they have this awesome playhouse and awesome swing set, and I never, ever see or hear them out there. But today... I heard them out there. I was so excited. I know. Sounds dumb, doesn't it? But um, I just really, I mean, it's so important for kids to get outside, I feel like. Um, I was hoping for a longer strip, but I don't want anything crunchy. Okay, that one's going to work. Um. Anyway, oh, and speaking of that, my granddaughter 
in um, Denver has, she's doing the coolest thing. It's called Silks. Have you heard of this? And um, they're these silk fabrics hanging from the, um, from the rafters. And they twist themselves up in them and do all sorts of, I don't know, contortions <laughs> and stuff. It's cool. Um, oh, darn, that's the same. Uh, my daughter sent a video. She had a little, like, a recital type thing. Oh my gosh, it was just the coolest. I absolutely loved it. I'm so excited for her doing that. I just think it's really cool. And she she's a super flexible kid. Like, she can bend herself into a pretzel. And so she's just really meant for this activity, I think. And her little friend got her into it. And I just think it's so cool. So, anyways, yeah. It was fun to find out. I'm just going to use this. And we'll be done with the back on this one. We'll go back to patterns. Thank you for doing this with me today. Look, isn't that pretty? And then there. Okay, one down. Alrighty, let's move the neutrals. Get another piece of Daphne's Diary. And onward and upward. Okay, we're back to it. Gosh, we're gonna get we're gonna get a good amount of these done. May I have a sip? Mm, thank you. Just was feeling parched. I'd like to use this. Maybe I'll use this in a couple of corners. I might just do it like this. So, anyway, yeah, thank goodness for the internet and being able to film on your phone and all of that for far away grandparents. It's just the best because still get to see what they're doing. Uh-oh. I hear the door, honey. I got it. Okay, thank you. My poor husband. I'm down here filming away and he's taking care of everyone else. I wonder what that is. That's probably the mailman. My guess would be it's Etsy shares. <laughs> that would be my guess. Yeah, we'll get these used up and that'll be good. I'll just put them on the four corners. Oops. So, um, yeah. So anyway, we got to see that. That was fun. And this weekend, the fourth, um, we will have, well, actually, the week prior and then the fourth which is why I'm going crazy making videos is um Addie and Katie are volley playing volleyball in Phoenix and so we'll be able to watch that as well because they have the streaming thing that allows us to do that I'm gonna go down the middle with this I think Go right down the middle with this part and then so I'm excited about that too it's been a while they've had a little bit of a break which is good for them too but, <laughs> but then I miss it <laughs> yeah that's why we have Alfie because they're doing that so but we'll get to watch it on TV Alfie will get to see Nana and Pa going crazy when they do something good or whatever. It's just so much fun. I might just tear across there. Okay. That down. 
All right, so now we might want to put something across there. I don't know because, you know, it's kind of plain. But let's see what else do we have. I've got some of my, um, these are some of my neutral collage digital. Let's just do that in four and use some pieces of that. So, um, yeah. so I don't know. I'm just babbling on about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. My plan is to later in the week to get another round of gardening done so that my gardens look all pretty when my family comes. Let's see. Use that one. Um, don't want this. But I will stamp something on that because look, it has a 44. I'll stick that over in my stamp it later pile. <laughs> so, you guys, I, I mentioned earlier the other day that Mike was putting my project cart together, which is on my favorite things. It is awesome. It really is a favorite thing. I am just loving it. Because I don't have all the mess here, you know. It's like I have the trays. Right now I have two trays for the World Bazaar um, journal just because I have so much stuff that I'm using in it. And then, um, and then I have a tray for... I have a tray for my baby journal that, or, you know, the hockey one that I'm going to do for the new grandson. And then I have a tray for my fairy whispers journal, which I think is going to take two trays too, to just have it organized to where, um, what I was trying to do is just is put paper on one tray, you know, kind of the flat paper on the one tray. Ooh, isn't that fun? And then, um, and then if we put one down here, it's going to be on the whole other journal card. So, um, and then, uh, on top have, you know, my little basket that I put ephemera in that I've pulled for the journal and that kind of stuff and stuff I want to work with. So, um, yeah, it's, it's working great. Okay, so I have this little piece here, and then I need something there. Not sure quite what, but I need a little something there, which that's not long enough. That's not long enough. Let me just dig for a second here. And this... Right, this. This is cool. Yeah, I can put that there. Um, yeah, so big fan. I mean, you know, I feel like it's a constant work in progress organizing yourself, you know, because I feel like about the time you get it, your needs kind of change or something. I don't know. Um, do I have any long pieces? That would be nice across there. Not anything that's jumping out at me. So, do I want to create a long... Oh, look at this. What's this? Yeah, it just doesn't really... It's not really going for me. Let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. About a piece of... What about a piece of that? Just a little. That's a jiggy jaggy side already. So let's just do this. And then we'll decide how long we want it. I could just kind of go. I'm going to 
do that. I don't know, we might have to have a, a decorating day too. I don't know how much time there is left. How much time do we have? Oh, you know what? If I put the back on this, we could decorate these. I mean, work on decorating these. Let's do that. So we break it up a little bit. Okay, so we don't need the, the um, decorative bits anymore. Now we're just going to go crazy putting on the, the backing. Gosh, I've got a lot of big pieces of backing. Maybe I'll just go down the middle with that. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we can have ourselves a little decorating too. That'll be fun. Okay. Pop that right down the middle. That edge very good. Very well. There you go, the Montana speak again. That's not very good. I'll just use this for stamping. And these will be sewn around the edge, like I say, so it's okay if they're not super stuck to the edge. Um, what else do I have here? Something a little different. How about I think I'm gonna take a second and get this edge off. It's curly. That's better. So we're still working on the Manifest series, slowly but surely. I sure have enjoyed it, though. I thought I would like it, but I like it more than I thought I would even. It's just very intriguing and fun to watch. Okay, um, put that right there. Just tear the edges a bit. And I haven't really watched a good movie lately. Last night we watched The Ice Road with, um, Liam Neeson, and I like him, but it was kind of cheesy, I thought. Just me. But um, that's all right. I got YouTube comments answered during it. <laughs> when Mike likes the movie and I don't really care for it, that's what I do. I just, I just do YouTube comments. That works. <laughs> okay, I think I'll put that down there, going up that way. Then we can sit this one side to dry and work on the other one, which should be dry. So look at us just being all sorts of efficient today. Getting her done. My husband said this morning, don't forget to make the cards for your Patreon people. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, honey. I won't. Okay, there we go there. All right, so that does it for those. So pop this one on, set this aside, and 
see how we want to decorate these. That'll be fun. I don't know that I'll get all four of them done, but might get a few done. Okay, so there's the back of that one and the front of that one. That's a bright, happy one, isn't it? Okay, so there's this one. Now, these are, what are they? Like, tw not quite 12. So, I need to go not quite 6 to cut it in half. So, I'm going to go right about there. Not bad. Pretty, pretty close. Okay, and we're going to hope we can... Um, get them folded without them crunching in the middle, which doesn't always work, but you know, it's okay. It's handmade. What can you say? But it really does help to use that piece down the middle that we did because then we're just not going to have edges. If I do have edges that poke out, I um, usually use a little washi or something. But so that will be our card. We just have to decorate it and sew around it. Okay, and then this one I was thinking would go like this. Yeah, so we'll end up with four cards done anyways, won't we? Okay, you know me. I need to ink just to so I know what it's going to look like. At least I'll just... I won't ink the whole thing. I'll just ink the front so I can. It's weird. I know, but I just, I can't see it until it's framed out. So. Okay, like that. I also love this one. So I'm feeling bird for this one, flower for this one. It's kind of my inclination. Um, so let's get our books out. Birds, birds, butterflies, flowers. Okay. Let's see. Let's work on the bird one first. I fling those pages so much that they kind of fling over. So I was thinking maybe one of Roxy Creations, because some of these are kind of large. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Yep, that was easy. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes it's such a struggle and other times, boom, it just happens. But it's just kind of how it is, I guess. And then I think we'll do a label at the top. I'm not quite sure which label. Um, I do have, I have some new labels now. Where did I put those? Oh, okay. Um, pink? Yes, these are pink monarch prints. And there's some really, there's some really fun, well, I have some words. And then I also... Live every day with intention. That could be kind of cool just on that pink rather than a label. I think that's what we're going to do there. Just going to cut it in half. Ink around it. Gosh, I was watching golf on Sunday, which I know... I used to think who in their right mind would watch golf. It would be so boring. But I find it very relaxing. Their voices are so soft. <laughs> and 
it's perfect for fussy cutting because you don't have to watch all the time, you know? So anyway, I've kind of gotten, I've kind of gotten addicted to watching golf, which is just hilarious. That is what I'm going to do on that card. I really like that. That's so fun. Um, anyways, gosh, it was a sudden death thing where they played hole after hole after hole because the two guys were tied for first place. Oh, man. And then I read um, in the paper where the winner of that tournament um, got $1,300,000. Like, oh, it's lucrative being a golfer. <laughs> oh, these are stickers. That's right. I put them on a sticker. That's a happy find. So I'm just, I'm going to put them down a little bit because there'll be a sewn edge. Okay, and then this one, I'll kind of angle this way a little bit. Okay, I really like that. Let me show you up close. And then I'm going to, um, the end of my Tracy label somewhere. Ugh, I got up too fast. I'm busy. Right here, this one. Okay, sit back down, Gail, before you fall down. <sighs> then I'm going to put, I like to put a little Tracy label right there, too. Um, and I see one that I think would be just right. So, yeah, we watched it for a while, and that was like, okay, hole after hole after hole. It's like, we need to eat dinner. We need to do something else besides watching this till its conclusion, because who knows when it's going to conclude. Okay, so one done, except for sewing. So I'll put it on my sewing machine. And see, letting that dry, that's a nice, even crease. Okay. Alrighty, so let's do this one. And I want flowers, I think, for this one. Um, something right there. And I have no preconceived ideas, really. I think something orange would be good because of this. Actually, that's really good, isn't it? Okay. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very bright. It's very bright and happy. Okay, well, rather than a label, I mean, a butterfly would be good. There's a butterfly there. I could put a butterfly there. And a little word there, maybe. So I just cut out from Janie B. Journals. She has, in one of her mystery packs, she has tiny butterflies. And I was so in need of tiny butterflies. I was just really, I really was. I like that, but I kind of think I'd like a different color because it's similar to the one that's... That one's pretty good. Um, so anyway, I was super excited to find these. This is what I was fussy cutting while I was watching the golf. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am going to go with this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. Um, yeah, anyway, this is, <laughs> this is what I was doing. Get, get, get around that way. Yeah. Mike said he admired my perseverance cutting out these baby butterflies. But I said, the thing is, is I need them. So <laughs> I was super excited. I mean, you can resize other people's digitals too, but these just came and I was just, yes. Okay, so um, I don't know that I want... A phrase. I am thinking what I like. Okay, these are my up and down or my vertical 
um, a jewel design. These are just like little homemade ones. I think I might like a number there. This one's too small. This one's too big. I need a just right. <laughs> right okay <laughs> all righty let's uh, get the edges a little bit so that they stand it stands aw away a little more so this is what I do with things like this is I stamp them and then they just make the most fun little labels Okay, there's that one. We need our little our little Tracy label in there. So let's see what we have. Uh, maybe Do I want sideways. I, think I want sideways. I don't know if that's the one I want. Oh, there's an up and down one. Nope, it's too far over. I think I'll just do that one. I think I will. Anyway, what I was saying is I can't imagine the pressure. I mean, granted, then they they do make a whole big old boatload of money. But, um, gosh, the pressure of trying to get that ball in the hole when you know you've got... A million bucks on the line <laughs> okay there's that one oh those are so fun it just needs to be sewn around so I'll show it to you there we go okay let's do the other sheet it should be dry by now and we're gonna go a little less than six if you recall I think about right there I was hoping that flower would be would be whole, so that's a happy event. All right, so we'll fold these and see what they're going to be like. Okay. That's pretty close to the edge right there, but it seems to be sticking okay. Oh, it's because this one is over the top. Okay, so that's good. Phew. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a really decent tip, putting something down the middle of the spine, because it just makes it so much neater. See that wrinkled slightly at the bottom there, but that's okay. So, just a little thought, a little thought, food for thought there. Okay, we'll ink the fronts so we can decorate with the, with the right perspective in mind. I love how these neutral collage piece, pieces um, distress up. They really... It really makes them look cool and old. I love that. Okay, so I'm thinking, what am I feeling here for decorations? I'm feeling a bird for this one and perhaps a flower for that one again. Okay. Okay, let's see. I just had... One other thought, which is, hang on. Oh my gosh, I'll probably never find them in here. Somewhere. Let's see if they're in here. Take a quick peek. If I don't find them right off, I'll move along. What I was thinking about here. Nope, nope, nope. 
Okay, I don't see them. I was thinking about my Francis Brundage kids, that they might, that digital, that, that might be fun, but we'll just do, we'll just do birdies. Um, they do have... If I distress that, would that be cute just to put... It just caught my eye out the corner of my eye. Sometimes when that happens, I feel like I need to pay attention. Because <laughs> it's the universe helping me out. Okay. And then a little label across there. I'm going to do it. It's different, but I kind of like it. So, um, the other thing is I think we could accent it with a piece, too, maybe, of something. And then we have to remember that it'll be stitched around as well. I have definitions from from um, Pink Monarch prints too. I love this because this is perfect for what's basically a thank you. It's a benefit for the VIP people. Just gonna put that right there. And I like it. I think once it's stitched around, it's going to be good. Okay, so what do we have in here? We can do anything we want. It is completely open. I think I'm going to use that one. Okay. And we'll move it over slightly because of the stitching. Okay, so there is that one. Very fun. Okay. Now this one, I was thinking yet again of a flower, perhaps. So let's see what we've got. A flower butterfly, maybe, or something. Um, I have for flowers. Oh, I have the Roxy Creation flowers. I forgot about those. I've just fussy cut those since there was a... One of the challenges you had to have all those. So this one right. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Mm. I don't know. There's something there's something that wasn't quite what I wanted there. I like that better. And then something big across there. I think that's what I'm going to do on that one. So let's ink up our flower a bit. Need to go out and see how my next layer of coffee dyeing is doing so hot out there. Oh my gosh. It's, my ankles are cold down here, but <laughs> out there it's pretty cold. It's pretty hot. Okay, so what I'm thinking there is what about also Pink Monarch. These. One of these. a skosh too big. Yep. That's it. Okay. There it is. I'll spare you the singing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I like that. We'll get this down. Do I want to cut out? I think I do this little bit right here. Make it more difficult for myself here. But devil's in the detail, isn't it? Okay, yep, that's better. That a little give that a little hit of the distress. Oh, I'm so happy to have these done so I can sew them and get them on their way. There we go. There's that one. I'm almost wondering if I want another little label right there. Crazy as it sounds. What's this red one? No. Nope. Okay. Let's put something the inside here. I like this 10 days right here. Yeah. We'll do that. And by George, I think we've got it. All set for the benefit mail out. Woohoo! And there is that one. Well, thank you guys. Thanks so much. All I have to do is ink the backs and sign the backs. We could do that. We better do that because I always forget or try to. I have this wonderful bunny pen that somebody sent me and it writes so cool. So then I just sign my Gail Augustinelli. And 2021, and then, um, and then, yeah, we'll, I'm going to go down this way with this one. And I'll, like I say, I'll sew around them and hope that I don't sew. I'll have to make sure I miss my name there. <laughs> I'll move this one up a little bit. This one. Just fits right in with all the other lists and everything. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you for helping me get these done. This is awesome. So I will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye-bye.